we have almost looked at all of the different ways that a batter can be put out and so I just want to keep going on that topic and, and we can look at a few more in this video so these are, are, are uh, situations where the ball is most of them are where the ball is put into play but they are just not the, the traditional and the most common uh, outs that you would see like ground outs or, or fly outs so the first one that we'll take a look at is if a third strike is not caught by the catcher when first base is occupied before two outs, before there are two outs. So a third strike is not caught by the catcher when first base is occupied before two outs. Outs. And so you remember that if a, a catcher drops the third strike and, and say that uh, first base is unoccupied, which is to say there is no runner on first base, then the, the batter is allowed to run and attempt to, to make it there and beat the force play on first. And there's also the, the rule also states that if it is occupied with two outs, then the the runner is also or the batter is also free to to run but in this case if if first base is occupied before two outs then it's it's the batter is is automatically out so the second way we can look at is that after hitting or bunting a fair ball he the batter's uh, bat hits the ball for a second time in fair territory so after hitting or punting a fair ball, the, the bat hits the ball a second time in fair territory. And so this is uh, just saying that, that if, if for whatever reason we have the batter and he, he drops he, he, he bunts the ball or he, or he hits it and it doesn't go very far and he, he lets his bat go or, or he throws it and it, it makes contact with the ball a second time then the, that's an automatic out and so we're, we're, this rule is really just trying to prevent um, a, a batter maybe you know hitting the ball twice if the ball only goes a couple feet and he he uh, hits it again or something like that to try to make it to to go farther uh, that that's what this rule is preventing so so if it hits it if the bat hits the ball a second time in fair territory he's automatically out and there's a, a second part to that which says that if the the batter simply drops his bat and he's not uh, intentionally uh, hitting the ball then then the umpire can judge that, that play will simply continue and it's a, a fair ball. The third way is that after hitting or bunting a ball that continues to move into foul territory, he intentionally deflects the course of the ball while he's running to first base. So this is kind of a, a similar uh, rule to the second one here. So this is after hitting bunting a a foul ball or, or a ball into foul territory the batter intentionally flex uh, the course of the ball while running to first base and so th again this is a similar one to this this above rule that we just looked at so if the ball is, is hit out here and maybe the batter is is running toward first base and and he's right next to the ball and generally he should he should have uh, dropped his bat by now but if for some reason he would to take take his bat and and try to knock it fair or something like that then then the batter would be called out for that 
So really, it's irrelevant if the ball is fair or foul. If he he you know, tries to hit the ball a second time, then then he, he could be called out. The next way is that a preceding runner shall intentionally interfere with a fielder who's attempting to uh, make a play on the ball. So, and th this then would put the batter out. So, a runner, or you know, somebody other than the batter, is is intentionally interferes. with a fielder attempting to catch uh, a thrown ball or throw a ball uh, you know uh, attempting to complete the play so so this would would a lot of times this will we could, might see this whenever there is a play uh, taking place. If we have a second baseman and then we have a, a runner who's on first base and he's running to second, and and so if the ball's hit here, basically we're saying that the the runner has to make or has to allow the fielder the opportunity to to make a play on the ball. So if the the runner doesn't if he runs into the fielder intentionally or or, or certainly and also if the ball hits the runner then the runner's automatically out so so and and then the other time we might see this is if there is a double play being attempted and we have a say the is this is the shortstop is run over here and the, he he gets the ball maybe the second baseman has flipped him the ball and then a runner on first, uh, who, who's out due to the force play here, he he makes some kind of um, movement where he, he doesn't get out of the way, and and so that that intentionally interferes with that player then trying to make the play. 